All right, guys, welcome to part two of my tennis review and uh, why I decided to quit. So before I start this off, I just want to say I know I'm going to mention some people or forget to mention some people that I've met through tennis. I'm sorry about that if I've forgotten you. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try to mention a lot of people that come to mind. So shout out to some people I've met through tennis. Jason, Tommy, Yuhan, Tomoki, Tam, Steven, Andy, Aaron, Evan. Um, yeah, so I've met um quite a lot of people through tennis and it's been a fun ride so um yeah anyways i want to talk about my junior year in tennis so um this junior year ended up being the final year of tennis for me and um so at the beginning i wasn't really thinking about quitting tennis um until december of uh, my junior year and um that was when me and my friends um Hunter, Josh and Patrick were like talking about like hey I think or it started I think from Hunter and Patrick so, like saying like hey I think um we're going to quit and not do this anymore for senior year and then that got me thinking like kind of worried too like well if they're not going to do it I know I'm not going to do this either then cuz it's just not going to be the same without them it's not going to be fun and Another reason why I decided to quit as well was because I just wasn't passionate about tennis anymore and I just wasn't having fun with the sport anymore like I I was in it to have fun and to talk to my friends and in in my freshman and sophomore year it was I was having fun playing the sport but then once junior year came around um my third year of it just it just started to not be fun anymore and I was just felt like I was just so done and I just was not enjoying my time playing the sport and and I was like you know what if I'm not having fun if I'm not enjoying this and if I'm not passionate about this and why am I still doing this so I just thought you know what I might as well quit with them too then. And I was thinking about this all in December and in a bit of January as well. So I was just like, you know what? I might as well quit. Um, and so um, when scheduling came around in February or, or March, I decided to um, not circle tennis and um, take exploring computer science instead. And Josh, Patrick, and Hunter will be taking that. So hopefully we will all get in the same class. Um, um, yes, because that will be um, really freaking fun, and that will be, like, I guess, like another tennis part two. Hopefully we'll be able to talk in computer science. I hope so, because we got to uh, talk to each other a lot in tennis. But, um, yeah, so junior year came around. That was December and January. And then in either February or March was when my two friends, Cole and Austin, joined. And this is the first time when I got to meet Cole and the first time I got to talk to Austin more and get to know him more, and you guys will see what Austin is like and who he is. Um, in in uh, or you guys already have seen what Austin is like and um, who he is because I made a dual commentary with him, um, about uh, girls, and I have another one coming up about um shoes. So um, yeah, that's Austin. I met him and got to know him more. Um, because of tennis, but I met him in my freshman year. But then I got to talk to him a lot more because he joined tennis, and I met Cole as well. Um through tennis because uh yeah he joined and then i just got to talk to him and he's a really um cool funny friendly guy and um yeah it was cool meeting him in tennis and those two are pretty much the last two people i met in in tennis um in my in those three years of meeting people and um and um yeah i i, I talked to them you know we're we're gonna go hiking hopefully cole will come through and go hiking with us but i know austin's gonna go hiking with me and my other friend christian so um yeah but you guys um have uh heard austin if you've seen my previous dual commentary video from this video but um yeah um so yeah my junior year was fun the banquet was a lot of fun um you know the pictures i took a lot of pic i mean i didn't take a lot of pictures but a lot of people took pictures of me and other people in tennis and i was in a lot of group photos at the tennis banquet and um the food was really good and it was just good times and talking on and we like me and my friend sat on this one table and we talked and then my friend brad like looked up random questions on the internet and asked them and then the question just like branched off from there and people asked other questions so um it, it was a lot of fun and it, it was really cool and i got to meet um um, Jeremy and Moon and Malik and I got to m know Moon and Malik more because of tennis and talking to them more in tennis so that was pretty cool um, meeting them um, so yeah the banquet was, was fun too um, that was good times and I went to Boba to get this milk tea Boba drink after with my friends after the banquet so that was that was a fun memorable experience I did that with Patrick, Hunter, Cole, Austin, Brad we all went for Boba afterwards so that was, that was fun and the pictures were um were really good too my the it's like posted in like the uh facebook tennis group for our, our tennis team and um yeah it's up there on my facebook but um yeah i don't 
I don't know if I'm still in the group now because I quit tennis. Actually, I think I am. It's just for the 2013, 2014 one. I'm pretty sure they make another one for the new year and next year now. So, um, yeah, my, my three years in tennis was fun. Uh, I made a lot of great memories. I made tons of memories, tons of laughs. Um, I know that these three years will never be forgotten, and I will always remember them for the rest of my life. And um, it's been really fun. I just want to say another shout out to Josh, Patrick, and Hunter. You guys have been really um, funny, friendly, awesome. Helped me learn a lot about myself and um, helped me become who I am today and um, helped me um, as a person and helped me, uh, you know, um, laugh at some things about myself and laugh at uh, random things and learn some things that, and you know, you know, I wouldn't be able to learn from my parents or maybe even some other people. But um. Yeah, guys, um, it's it's been really fun. It's been a great... And you know what's crazy is that um, my my sophomore history teacher said, um, like, in the middle of the year or something, this was, like, last year, two years ago, um, he was like, uh, yeah, once you guys are out of high school, you're only going to have two or three friends out of all the people you know. And I kind of don't believe that because I feel like, or at least for this generation of mine, because now we have technology and all these apps to keep in touch with people. Um, so I feel like now it's a lot easier to like contact people to meet up and keep in touch with people. But I mean, if that were to be true, that you only get, that you're only going to have two or three friends once you graduate from high school, I'm, I'm, I feel really sure and quite positive about, um, that those two or three friends of mine will be Patrick, Josh and Hunter. Um, cause, uh, yeah, I, I just, those are my closest friends and, um, I got to know them a lot in tennis and, um, lots of good fun memories and times with them in tennis and that was one of the reasons why I was so hesitant and a bit nervous and scared to quit tennis and thinking about it so much in December and January was because I was like if I do go through with this because I know Patrick and Hunter are going to quit will I be able to will we still like you know hang out as much and will we still talk and will we um, you know be going outside of places um, outside of school and talking from there and um, and I was worried like you know what how am I going to talk to Josh then because then Josh doesn't, you know, talk to me at lunch because um, he's out off with his girlfriend at lunchtime and he, and he, like, comes, like, once in a while to talk with us at lunch. So I was like, oh, great. How am I going to talk to Josh now? Because pretty much the only time I do get to talk to Josh at school is um, in tennis. And if and if I were to quit that, then I was like, when am I going to talk to this guy now, you know? So I was hoping, like, okay, hopefully we'll get a class in senior year and then we can talk in that class because um, even though we did have English together, we did, like, you know, get to talk a bit in that class, but tennis is where we got to talk the most since um, he never really talked with us at lunch or or since, like, he didn't spend as much time with us at lunch in junior, in junior year and sophomore year. So um, I was like, oh, crap, how am I going to talk to this guy now, you know, because I really do want to keep in touch with him. So then um, now I'm, um, I feel like we're just going to, um, for next senior year, we'll keep in touch with, with you know, um, just contacting each other like, hey, you want to go out to do this or see this or go here or hopefully we'll have a class and talk then. So I was trying to calculate as well like exactly how I would keep in touch with uh, these with these three friends of mine once we quit tennis because um, I, I talked to them a lot in tennis and I was worried once I quit this if everything would just crumble down and then things wouldn't be the same anymore and, and, uh, and um, if we wouldn't like see each other as much or talk to each other as much and if we wouldn't hang out outside of school because a lot of the times when we did hang out outside of school it was like pretty last minute or like that day of like during tennis be like hey guys you want to go to so-and-so like right now or or once the bell rings and then yeah go do it so i was like okay if we don't have tennis as like that outlet to plan for something right then and there then when is it going to be because at lunchtime there's like all these different other people around and stuff so maybe you don't want to talk about going to different places to be courteous to other people or just because you don't you just want to keep it to certain people so then tennis was like you know that time to like talk about it since it would just be a few people so i was like trying to think about all that stuff but now i'm just um i'm having hope and just gonna hope that the power of technology and cell phones and stuff like that will um will be put to good use and will hang out and stuff still so um yeah and um that's one of the things too I'm trying to work on in my life is trying to keep in touch with people. Like once people go their own ways or once change happens or different routes occur in life or paths occur in life. So um, I'm trying to like work on my keeping in touch skills because um, yeah, I think it's a good skill to have in life to uh, keep in touch with people and know them. And um, yeah, so tennis has been life changing. Um, it's been funny. It's been f- 
it's been crazy. It's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of reflecting. And um, making a part one and part two commentary can't do it justice for the amount, for the experiences and funny moments and memories I've had in tennis. And, um, and I just feel like um, making commentaries, though, about it because I just want to remember it more and maybe I might forget some of these details, so it's good to just have it somewhere saved online um, and share my thoughts about it, so... Yeah, and um, and my dad also wanted me, and my parents, or I guess my dad mainly, just didn't really want me to do tennis anymore because he thought it wasn't, like, benefiting me and because my grades weren't doing well and because, like, you know, he just wanted me to focus on school more. So I also had to um, decide to quit for him as well. So, yeah. And um, and my SAT prep people also didn't want, well, I mean, also wanted me to quit too because they thought it wasn't really worth it in the end and that I should just get my grades up instead of playing the sport. So I was just like, okay, fine. If all these things are going on, might as well. So, yeah, and then I just did it. But, um, yeah, guys, tennis has been fun. Um, it, it's easily my favorite sport of all time. Tennis is a really fun sport. And swimming is fun, too. But I, I like tennis a lot. Tennis is really fun. So, um, yeah, and um, it's been fun. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.